Hi everyone! So today I'm gonna make a lemon lime soap and I'm gonna give the spinning swirl a try. You've probably seen that making the rounds online. And I've got my colors here already prepped. It's a fizzy lemonade, titanium dioxide, and hydrated green chrome. And I've just mixed them with some oil pulled from my total oils. And here are my oils. Let's see, this is a recipe that I got from the Nova Studio blog. It's a palm-free recipe. It's 41% olive oil, 25% coconut oil, 25% mango seed butter, 6% avocado oil, and 3% shea butter. I've used this recipe before and it behaved well for me then, so... Hope it will do well here too, because I need a fairly thin trace, because basically what I'm going to be doing is using a slab mold and doing a faux funnel pour in all four corners and then spinning the mold to make the spinning swirl. Since I'm fragrancing the whole thing, I'm just going to go ahead and add my fragrance oil now. And this is one ounce of Lime Crystal Kisses by Elements Bath and Body and one ounce of Lemon Sugar by Elements. Now my oils are at about 107, my lye is at 105, so they're really close to each other. I'm going to go ahead and add them. I'm just going to bring this to a light trace and then split it into three equal portions, hopefully. And the measuring cup's there. Give it a burp, get rid of the air bubbles. I'm trying to be careful not to overmix this. That's something I tend to do. Okay, let's see if I can portion these off equally. I'm going to shoot for 16 ounces in each and then we'll eyeball it from there. It's about 16. That's about 16, maybe a little short, but not much. And I'm not going to stick blend this because I don't want it to get too thick. It's already getting a little thick. I'm hoping just by whisking every now and then I can keep it loose enough. I don't want it any thicker. As you can see, the, that's the white. Here's the yellow. And the green. Okay, so I'm just going to do a funnel pour starting in two of the corners.
All right, well, let's see what we can do here. Yeah, that's not my thing. Well, guys. You're supposed to spin it and then the swirls move, but of course if your surface is so thick that it won't move, that won't work. So, how about a plan B? Let's do some swirls like this. Let's pretend it went around in circles. Okay. I think these still look nice. I'm just sorry I couldn't show you the spinning swirl. So, I think these still look nice. I'm going to pop a cover on them, insulate them, let them gel, and then when it's time to unmold them, I'll meet you back here. Okay, let's unmold these, see what we got. These have been in the mold for quite a while. I was pretty lazy about unmolding these, so they should be not soft at all. So, should be easy to unmold these. Should have been more careful. It took a little bit off that one. Maybe I can patch it up. This little bar likes to stick to things. Let's slide it away instead of pulling. There. So I need to do some a little bit of cleanup on some of the edges, but there's that one. That one's not the prettiest one. I like how the swirling is throughout the entire bar. I think these will be bars that will be very pretty as you use them. I think this one is my favorite.
Bye guys. Thanks for watching.